All right, guys, I finally got my PC Engine Duo R. Um, you know, this is an amazing machine. I, um, you know, I actually recently, you know, just got this PC Engine Core Graphics. Um, this was the second system that PC Engine released to read the Hue cards. And, you know, this thing worked great. Um, I actually used this with this uh, turbo stick, um, you know, for a lot of the shooters that I got. Um, it worked great. Um, but I needed something more. Um, actually, and this was the first game that I got, but I saw this game online. And uh, this game looked amazing, Winds of Thunder. It, uh, the gameplay footage actually <laughs> reminded me a lot of, like, Astabreed. Um, one of my favorite PS4 shmups, um, amazing shooter, bullet hail, you actually got a sword, so you have a weapon you can kind of like attack people with, um, amazing game, so in this game, in Winds of Thunder, if you get near an enemy, you automatically kind of like attack them with the sword or some kind of weapon that you have, and just the fact you're in a mech suit and, you know, that whole thing, it reminded me of Astabree, which is like one of my favorite PS4 games. So with that being said, I jumped on this. I found it for pretty cheap. Um, this game can get pricey, especially the American version. Um, so I needed a way to play it, and I found a, uh, a pretty clean Duo R. Um, you know, it actually, the guy I bought it from, he gave me a controller extender, and I believe this is the original controller that came with the system. Um, thing feels great. It reminds me of an NES controller. The only difference is, you got these turbo switches right here. So, there's turbo switches for shooters and, you know, games like Bonk's Adventure. You can just hit that switch. And for this game in particular, you can just kind of float or glide through a lot of the levels, um, you know. So, these are a couple of the games that I have for the PC Engine CD or the Duo R. I got this. I You know, I, pl I can play this game. It's like a... It's like a weird Japanese, like, dominoes. I'm, I'm sure you, a lot of you guys know what this is, but, uh, yeah. Looks boring, but it's kind of interesting. Um, now this, I have no idea what this is called, but this is a bizarre platformer. Um, it's kind of like, I want to say, like, Mario or Bonk or Sonic, but... It seems like every two minutes you're kind of thrown into some kind of mini game, and it's kind of giving you some examples of the mini games over here on the side. But uh, very bizarre. Um, <laughs> only in Japan would they release something like this. But uh, I wish I could tell you guys what to look for. But honestly, I mean, I'll show you the game. I have no idea what this game's called. But the guy gave it to me free when I got the Duo R. So. I actually have a bunch of Japanese RPGs that I can't really play because I can't read Japanese and I'm about to get rid of. Um, and I'll probably get rid of this uh, this core graphics because I, I, I don't need it anymore. You know, I'm, I'm not in a point in my life where I'm just collecting, collecting, collecting. You know, if I have something that works and it works good for me, you know, unless I really need a backup, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of it. Um, so, you know, if any of you guys are looking for one of these, I can uh, I can give it to you with the power cable, potentially the AV cables. I might want to keep those as a backup, but yeah, let me know. Um, you know, with my shooters, you know, when I got my original core graphics, I actually got this turbo stick. And, uh, you know, this, this thing's great. Um, it's not micro switched, but, uh, you know, it feels really good. Um, it's made really well. It's got a really long cable, so you really don't need a controller extension for it. Um, and, uh, you know, the bottom, you know, things metal, you know. <laughs> they, don't, they don't make them like that anymore. Um, you know, so, you know, like I said, you know, I bought this system to play Winds of Thunder. Um, you know, sorry about the glare, guys. That's actually what I have on right now. You know, there's one menu system in this game that I have no idea what it means. 
I guess you're kind of picking power-ups or armor. Here, I'll show you. See right here, I guess I'm just picking like a power-up that I'm going to use in the level. I think you collect some sort of money or something in this game to get more of the stuff, but I haven't got that far in yet. I'm trying to hold the camera and play this one-handed, so uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. See if I can get up close and hit somebody with my sword. That's pretty much it, guys. Winds of Thunder for the PC Engine. Um, you know, as soon as I stop recording, I'm probably just going to get on that, but uh. Yeah, that's my Duo R. Um, oh, let me show you. This is how you, uh, you know, it just uses a little, I don't know if this is proprietary. I've heard people say they use Sega CD power cables to, for these things. I have no idea. Um, that's the one that came with it. And, um, you know, it just uses regular component cables. But, uh, you know, the thing looks great. I've heard about people RGB modding these things and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, that's not for me, um, you know, with this thing, if I want to play Turbo Graphics U cards, I'm just going to go buy Turbo Graphics, you know, I'm not going to mod this thing, I'm not going to do anything to it, I don't want to damage it, um, you know, maybe, maybe if the laser drive goes out, you know, maybe I'll pay somebody to, well, I probably will pay somebody to replace that if that ever happens, but, um, you know, one of the reasons I got this particular model and not the add-on for the core graphics is because I heard these things are made really well. Um, apparently, um, the Duo or maybe the American and the Japanese version, apparently the first model they had with both the Hue card and the CD-ROM together on one unit, apparently the capacitors on those things would pop and leak all over the board. I don't know much about it, but... More than one person uh, told me that, so it was enough to scare me into getting a Duo R or either a, either an R or an RX. I just happened to find the R first for a great price, um, you know, so I jumped on it. Um, you know, as you can see, I don't have many games, just a few, you know. It's a very humble lot of games at this point, but um, there's some pretty cool stores near me, and, um, you know, I know where to go online if I need anything. Um, so that's it. Um, you know, hopefully here in a couple of months, you know, I can put together a nice catalog of games and, you know, really show you guys something. All right, man. Well, I hope you guys have a good weekend and thanks for watching.